October 3rd. The Wonder of God's Love. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3:16. As children we read Alice in Wonderland, but at the end of life we shall still find ourselves in Wonderland. Perhaps there is a deeper truth than we know in the description of old age as a second childhood, because the child spirit ever lives in a paradise of mystery, questioning and wonder. There are causes for wonder in the small compass of this verse. The first is that God loved and loves the world. We are not surprised to learn that he made the world, because except where men have spoiled it it is so beautiful. Or that he has a name for it, because he calleth them all by name, as he bringeth out their hosts by number. So small is our world amid the myriad constellations, but nevertheless it is belted, environed, encompassed by the love of God. The second wonder is that the only begotten Son came to dwell with us. Is it not wonderful that the Son of God should have passed by all other worlds, and come to this? That this earth was trodden by his blessed feet, that he has incorporated its transfigured dust into the texture of his divine nature this is all so wonderful, that we are disposed to believe that our world must be the pivot of the universe its nursery, college, and training ground. The third wonder is that eternal life is within the reach of whosoever. The authorized version gives the word everlasting, but the revised version translates it as eternal. God gives us not quantity but quality of life. Time is a method of thought necessitated by our human limitations, and therefore some day will come to its end. Eternal life is an ever-present now of love and life and light, enjoyed in fellowship with God. And this is for whosoever. Each of us may insert his or her name in the blank, and say, that I may have eternal life. It is so wonderful, that the thought could not have been invented or suggested by the wit of man. It bears the imprint and seal of God himself, who made us in his image, and after his likeness, that we might become the partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Prayer The world is dear unto thee, O Heavenly Father, thou didst send thine only Son to save it, and thy Spirit to comfort and renew. May he brood over the chaos of this distracted world, and may order and peace and love reign among men. Amen.